throwing things on the ice has become a tradition unlike in any other sport. Is this rat infestation the craziest thing ever thrown onto an NHL ice surface? The Detroit Red Wings started a tradition back in 1952, and the idea was that the eight tentacles of an octopus represented the eight wins necessary to win the Stanley Cup. Since then, octopus have been thrown onto NHL ice surfaces on numerous occasions. In Boston, it happened back to back, and they had to blow the whistle and stop the play. The octopus phenomena became a fan favorite in Detroit. In this clip, we see the final goal scored in a legendary Joe Louis arena. Fittingly, an octopus made its way out onto the ice for that occasion. That was the final octopi thrown at the infamous Joe Louis arena. This octopus was probably the largest cephalopod that was ever thrown on the ice. Somebody came up with an extravagant plan to bring that sucker into the building. Throwing a sea creature on the ice is a bold move, and so is throwing a stink bomb, which happened during a New Jersey Devils game. They were playing in Philadelphia against the Flyers, and the pungent smell could easily be recognized by the players and crowd. It also left a cloud of smoke delaying the game. Throwing a stink bomb on the ice was an unpleasant move for all, unlike when the Pittsburgh Penguins were playing the Nashville Predators, and the face-off was paused because a catfish was thrown onto the ice. This has become a tradition in Nashville in response to their rival Red Wings hurling an octopus. Sneaking a catfish into an NHL arena is not an easy task, something that is easy to bring in, a team jersey. When the Carolina Hurricanes were playing against the Toronto Maple Leafs in the Air Canada Centre, some Maple Leafs fans disrobed their jerseys and threw them onto the ice in disgust. Throwing a sweater onto the ice has become a thing when fans get fed up with their team's play. An Edmonton Oilers fan threw his jersey onto the ice, but rather than having the cleanup crew retrieve it, goalie Ben Scrivens grabbed it with his stick and throws it back into the crowd. Classic move. Although not a respectful move, a team jersey is a relatively easy object to throw onto the ice, much like a hot dog is, which was hurled onto the ice during a Boston Bruins versus New Jersey Devils game. Tyler Seguin was attempting a shootout, which he scored, but the goal was disallowed thanks to the obnoxious fan. Seguin tried again and banged home his second attempt as well. The Florida Panthers adopted a tradition after Scott Mellenby killed a rat in their dressing room with his stick. He scored two goals after that, dubbing his big night a rat trick. The players were later showered with a steady dose of plastic rats when Ray Shepard scored the first ever goal at a home playoff game in franchise history. Cleanup crews also said they found decon and even a live rat was safely corralled on the ice. Finding a live rat is ridiculous, which is why this next clip featuring a chicken seems completely preposterous. Who in their right mind brings a live chicken to a hockey game? We just can't fathom this one. Speaking of people not in their right minds, we must check on this lady to see if she needs any help with her undergarments. It appears as if this elderly fan wants to celebrate Braden Shen's hat trick the old fashioned way. She's not only a Flyers fan, but also a fan of leopard print. That old-time Flyers fan wasn't the only lady to heave her bra onto the ice when Jeff Cowan of the Vancouver Canucks scored his second goal of the night in the fifth of the season against the Tampa Bay Lightning, one fan decided to get a little risky. If you think throwing a bra is a risky move, I'd love to know what you think about New Jersey Devils coach Robbie Fatorik. The coach threw an entire bench over the boards and onto the ice. Just wild stuff. Throwing a bench onto the ice is about as foolish as it gets for an NHL coach. This next scene was no joke as foolish as it seemed. The captain of the Arizona Coyotes, Shane Doan, had scored a hat trick the game before, but the unenthusiastic fans did not throw any hats. The next game, fans made up for it in warm-ups, much to the delight of the team captain who donned a cowboy hat. This next situation was far from a delight when the Washington Capitals were playing in Philadelphia. The Flyers were giving away light-up bracelets in honor of their recent owner who had passed away. Some of the Flyers fans got upset with the play on the ice and began throwing their bracelets onto the ice. Since the jewelry was so hard to see against the ice, they had to postpone the game. Since we are throwing bracelets, we might as well throw some candy while we're at it, right? That's what happened to Elias Patterson of the Vancouver Canucks. 
Elias was going to line up for a face-off when he was startled by the rather bizarre object, a bag of candy. Apparently, somebody didn't like their jelly beans. Those violators didn't want their jelly beans, and these next hooligans didn't want their salmon anymore either. It was a Vancouver Canucks game, and the mysterious fish was quickly scooped up by the referee using a towel. Someone chucking a salmon on the ice is a first for me, but this next clip we've seen before. But this time, our catfish has a clever twist. The fish comes with a mask for safety reasons. Very clever, I must say. While we are going through the various fish, it would be tough not to mention this shark sighting in San Jose. The object was a shark with an octopus sewn onto its mouth. An idea thought up to mock the long-standing Red Wings tradition. This is a rather brazen act. Sewing an octopus to a shark mouth is quite the elaborate scheme. A much more conventional mocking method can be seen here. The Winnipeg Jets were playing the Nashville Predators when an Atlanta Thrashers jersey was tossed on the ice. I guess it was some sort of homage to Atlanta, the previous home of the Jets organization. Whatever the purpose was for throwing the Thrashers jersey, it was not as immature as the fans in New Jersey when the Devils were playing the Toronto Maple Leafs. The fans got upset because for the third time in the same game, a goal was taken off the board thanks to replay. We can see why the fans would be upset with the refs, but they took it too far. And we can also see why Jeremy Roenick of the Philadelphia Flyers had a beef with the referees when he was playing the Buffalo Sabres. Jeremy launched a water bottle across the ice, landing at the feet of the refs. Roenick was already on the ice when he threw the water bottle, so that comes with an asterisk. And we could put this next one in that category because someone didn't throw an object onto the ice, they threw themselves onto the ice. The clown dropped down onto the ice surface and was abruptly driven back to the boards by the ref. Hard lesson learned for that young man. Fans jumping onto the ice is nothing new, but Los Angeles Kings coach Tom Webster throwing a stick javelin style at a referee is something you never see. The coach earned himself a 12-game suspension for his actions. It was an easy decision to suspend the coach for throwing a stick. It's not as easy to suspend a whole arena of fans. The Dallas Stars were playing the Detroit Red Wings when a bad referee call led the crowd throwing their trash onto the ice. Can't say we blame them after the opponent got a two-minute minor for a sucker punch to the face. Dallas fans were clearly upset with the referees, but it's hard to say what the Islanders fans were upset about here. They started launching beer cans and other objects onto the ice following a hard-fought victory to force a Game 7 against the Tampa Bay Lightning. That was a bit of a perplexing move by the fans, unlike this next move by the crowd which was clearly in celebration of the goal scored by Nicholas Backstrom and his 1,000th NHL point. The Apples were a crowd giveaway that night, which quickly became a tribute to Backstrom. Apples are an interesting choice, but this next object is even tastier than an apple. At the end of the game between the Ottawa Senators and the Boston Bruins, Curtis Lazar finds a hamburger that someone threw on the ice and started munching away. Yum. Keeping with the food theme, this next clip comes from Toronto when the Maple Leafs were getting outplayed by the Atlanta Thrashers. The Waffles came out, which represents an uninspiring performance from the home team. But the symbolism here is a bit of a stretch. Waffles are delicious, but in Boston, one of the most satisfying foods is lobster. One fan wanted to start a trend by throwing a fake lobster on the ice in the Boston Garden against the Nashville Predators. Clever idea but it's best not to throw anything onto the ice. Hockey fans can go wild with emotions, leading to some crazy objects getting thrown onto the ice surface. And if you like these wacky launches, you will love our video showcasing the craziest glass-breaking moments in NHL history. So click here to see that.